she's really swung hard the other way. I mean, it's like she's priding herself on being hated. And I don't think anyone wants that, right? Well, I think even if you convince yourself you do, it eats away at you, right? Like mm-hmm. it just, when you are putting a suit of armor on to go on your social media and just read and go out in the world, I mean, it has to get exhausting, even if you're good at it. Right? Yeah. I, and, I, you know, I just wonder when, when you go out, I mean, you know, if people know who you are and you're out doing things, whatever, it's eating, grocery shopping, walking your dog, whatever the case may be, you don't know who knows you or who's aware of who you are. They're all strangers to you. And I just wonder if she thinks that when she walks down the street that so many people are literally like, you know, oh God, there's a, you know, disgusting woman. I hate her. That would bother me. I think there's, well, I mean, let's just state the obvious. I mean, she was at BravoCon and she got booed. I mean, she walked into, which I mean, when I heard she was going, I was like, how? Like, how is this happening? Because I'm not shocked she got booed. I mean, she walked into that huge room and people were literally booing her. Like, you saw the videos. Yeah. And then, I mean, you did see her stick up the middle finger. So, I mean, to your point. She, but, she, but, that, but but you have to do that. You have to act like, you know what I mean? It doesn't bother you. What are you going to do? Start crying and run off the stage? What are you going to do? What are your choices? Well, you could sit down and just cross your legs and wait for Brad Goreski to come in and start moderating and just not acknowledge nah, it, I guess. No, nah, I wouldn't. I mean, it, I think you you kind of, if you decide to to go and walk into that, you know, gladiator cage, you you have to go in with a suit of armor and act like you're coming and bring it, you know, and it doesn't affect you. She's too deep into it. She's too deep into everything that she's done. And even when Andy said to her, you know, your social media is a disaster, you know, blah, 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 blah. Th- this was going on long before Lois passed. Yeah. And, and, you know, and I do think that she's made a lot of money from being, you know, her and her personality and everything. And I think that that's great, but I don't, <laughs> the part we can talk about this, the part in the, um, I, I think it was the finale when she said, if she didn't get this out, that she was going to die, that it was going to kill her. She was, was going to get cancer and die. Yes. Now that's delusional. And I'm not saying that stress can't bring on illness in the body. I do believe that, but come on. A lot of people came for her that have lost people to cancer. A lot of people were like, wait, did I just hear that correctly? That to me was just, I don't know. She has no, she has zero filter now. She just doesn't there's no reality to like what she's saying. She doesn't at all stop before she says something. And, and maybe that's part of the Bravo. I mean, Bravo always says, just say what, what's ever on your mind. So maybe that's exactly what she's doing and it's gotten her this far. I, I, you know, you and I were texting before. I don't think she's gonna, I don't, I think she stays on. I don't think she's gonna be fired. I agree with you. Yeah. I don't know if I, I don't know what, what I've changed my mind so many times, but in the past two weeks up to this point, and now I'm really doubling down on it, I would say yes, because it already feels like that to me, that decision is made. And look, yeah. once once that decision is made and it's a new season, then it's like, it, it erases it all, right? Then it's like, oh, like you almost feel stupid for, for, for even going there. Like here she is, of course she's here. I think we're all gonna feel like that in like three weeks. I do. Well, you know what, but I read something, you know how like when you skim through Instagram and if you go to like the little search icon, it pulls up like yes. things and it's, and it's based on whatever, like your algorithms of whatever you've been looking at. Right. So somehow I get all of the Kathy Hilton stuff. And I saw that Kathy Hilton said that she won't go back if some of, some of the people are still there. I can only imagine that that has got to be Renner. I would agree with you. I would say yes and yes, but I also 
I think that's a whole nother thing, which I can get into in a second, because I think Kathy isn't going anywhere. And I think Kathy really is enjoying herself. And she has an easy out because she said this cast. Yeah, I think she implied Rena. But I mean, Diana's not coming back. We can get into that too. No. And then she could say, well, it's not the same cast. I said, I wouldn't come back with the same cast. It's not, Diana's not there. But I, she did mean Rena. but I think when Rena is still there, Kathy ain't gonna walk. That's my opinion. No, she's not. She's just trying to push, you know, push the hand a little bit and see if she has the power to get it done. Yes. But I, I, think, I think Andy loves Rena, even though she's a head case. Yep. She's Great for ratings. I mean, take Rena out of the mix this season. What 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 show was there? And I keep forgetting. I I I don't keep forgetting, but I forgot that they started right after last season wrapped. Right? What was the downtime? Like hardly any. I think like a week, maybe. There was a lot oh, of overlap. Really? There was a lot of overlap with that home invasion of Dorit's. It was like a media. I don't know if it was two weeks, three days, twenty four. It was really right away because the whole Erica thing was still going on, and they didn't want to lose mm. steam. And but I agree with you. So I mean, you're right. I agree with you. She's definitely going to be back. To your point, without her, what was the show this season? Really, it's, 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 tell me. Yeah. I mean, in, in, in truthfully, as much as people hate her, I think what they don't realize and as much as people, you know, beg for her to be fired, they don't realize how much they're turning on the television to see the drama that she's causing. I say to people, cause they all leave their comments and I'm like, listen, I don't know how to say this any clearer you know, and I'm not trying to come for a whole network, but the bottom line is you are just kidding yourself. If you think the Bravo network cares about you, you could claim, you know, cancel culture, whatever words you want to use. The bottom line is if you are saying to me and everyone says it, we are not going to watch if Lisa Rinna is on. And then you, and I call bullshit on 98% of that. And like, just like you right, said, right. If you all watch, you can't look away and you are going to watch. It's just like voting, right? Everyone doesn't like this president, the other one. Whoever the president is, you don't vote and you're upset because you think, what's the point? All my all my neighbors are going to vote. It's the same thing. You're going to say, well, that one, all these people aren't going to watch. I'm going to watch. Shh, don't tell anyone. Right. So when everyone watches again and Lisa Rinna is back and the ratings are the same, Bravo doesn't give one fuck no. if you're hurt, if, if you think she's too rude, abusive, you know, whatever. You could throw around every word that is inappropriate. They don't care. Now, they if you care. all really collectively do not watch the show when she's back on it, guess